What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Johnny coming at you with some TTM returns. You asking yourself, Johnny, what are TTMs? Well, let me tell you, they stand for through the mail. I send out bunches of requests out a week and report multiple times a week to this channel. Let you guys know who I'm sending to, how long it takes, if there's a fee, and um, yeah. There you go. Maybe I'll give you some ideas. Maybe just like autographs. This is an easy hobby that there's a lot of cool people that I've met that do it. And a lot uh, of just, like I said, cool people in this TTM community here on YouTube. So guys, if you dig autographs, sports cards, good vibes. That's right. I'm sending good vibes out to you guys. And that's a good way if you hit that subscribe button, if you haven't done it, and think about uh, hitting that like button. That's just a fun way we share um good vibes back and forth let's get started no further ado first one coming out of portland oregon 760 days guys zero fee three of three and this is very sweet that we're starting with this one so guys if you follow um a lot of the ttm community um we are doing uh they're having another um, baseball decades challenge and that's between the teams 80 and team 90 and um <laughs> and uh who's putting this on is is caleb cards and uh if you guys don't know who caleb's cards is i'll make sure i'll have a description uh his link down in my description and chase and ink is a team leader on it um, i'm on team 90s so long story short two years ago i believe it when chase was doing it i was on team 90s again and this is a card that i send out for that contest it never came back thought it was gone but how fitting how fitting does it come back and the contest just started so i like i said i'm on team 90 so chase and ink check it out 1991 upper deck steve decker on his star rookie card black ink there then we got him on a 1992 upper deck black ink looks great and then a 1993 we got a little run there 93 upper deck 91 92 93 and like i said that's my first point i started sending out some of my 90s uh team uh, for teams i guess it was last week before thanksgiving and i'm still sitting as, as we speak but how cool didn't get the point for mr steve decker two years ago but we got a point this year so let's go good vibes look at that good vibes are already coming to us all right guys let's Oh, that's enough messing around. Let's go. Portland, Oregon, another one. Wow. Uh, 121 days, zero fee, one of two success. I'm sorry, that's a two of one success. Mr. Mister Neil Lomax, nice. on The Cardinals on a 1983 football blue ink. God is so good. Believe. And there's his... Um, his autograph again, and you know what, guys? God is good. Golly, he's good. Um, anyways, that's awesome. Football return, guys. Very sweet, and love when the index cards come back. Next one, guys, coming out of uh, Kansas City. We have a 5 of 2 success, 0 fee in 32 days. Let's go. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. $30 to sign and mail book to. Oh, this must be for, what is this? Looks like we got the best of the last, the last Yankee Dodger. Well, let's see what I cards I sent. Mr. Fred Kipp, check it out, guys. 1959 and 1960. Tops. Vintage baseball. Fred Kipp for the LA Dodgers. Look at that, guys. Uh, sent those two vintage cards to him. He sent his name on an index card. Asked him a question who um, was some of his uh, favorite catchers he played with. And what does that say? Piganatano, Russ Bar, and then whatever that is. But cool there. And then uh, he actually signed these two pictures. That's live ink on there. So I will definitely add that to my collection. Guys, if you haven't sent to Fred Kipp... What a good, evidently $30, he'll sign it, and that's his book. I guess he's made a book. We might check into that later on. So, Mr. Fred Kipp, thank you for your autograph, sir. 
All right, guys, Santa Clarita, California. Shout out to Michael Myers. Two of two success, zero fee, 18 days. Who'd we get? Here we go, Matt Young, 1987 tops in 1986, playing for the Mariners. Blue ink autograph, looking good. We're going to run out of room. We're going to just have to put the 86 up there. We'll put the 87 down there. Next one, coming out of Tampa, Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida. We got a 2-2 two two success, zero fee in 18 days. Looks like he answered a question. 1984, John Stuper, and in 1986. Playing for the Reds on the 86 and the Cardinals on the 84. Blue ink autograph. Looking pretty sweet. We'll put that 80, uh, 84 up there since we already had an 86. And then I asked him um, <clears throat> who was some of his kind of... Um, what, what did I not leave a note? He didn't... He didn't send the note back, but I asked him who was some of his, like, sports inspirations. He put Hub Kittle, very sweet, Daryl Knowles, Bob Forsh, Jim Cott, and Bruce Sutter. There's some good, great names there. Thanks for the autograph, and thanks for taking the time to answer a question. Next one, guys, D.V. Daniels, New Jersey. One-on-one -on -one success, zero fee, 12 days. Now we're getting more my style. There you go, Mr. One Per. Haven't sent to him in about five or six months. Mr. Steve Balboni. Usually try to send him once or twice a year on my 1983 Donruss. Love those 83s. Like I said, guys, if you haven't received a, sent to Steve Balboni, he's a one per. Pretty automatic signer. All right, let's move it on. We got a lot of good returns today, guys. Kansas City is our next one. 101, zero feet, 11 days. Who'd we get? Well, we got some stuff in here. We got Ken Berry. You know what? I actually sent to Ken Berry probably about four or five months ago, a little, probably four months ago. Sent him a few cards and I meant to send this 1965 rookie. So I put it back in there. What a cool guy. Got some blue ink on there. Um, what else did he give me here? He gave me his card that he puts in, his business card. What else did he put in? And Johnny, I asked maybe a favorite memory he had. He said, Johnny, a lot of my memories are included in my novel. Come back. Call me and I'll give you, I'll, uh, I'll fill you in. So you can actually call him and he'll send you your book. And what is this? And this is some information about the book. If you want to pause and read it. All right, guys, next one coming out of uh, White River Junction, Vermont. There you one you don't hear too often. Two to two success, zero fee in 12 days. Check it out. Bill Lee. Hadn't sent to Bill Lee in a long time. So um, at least not in 2023. So I had to get my Bill Lee Earth 2023 on a 1974 Tops. And then check it out on a 1982. Uh, he just put Bill Lee, no earth, no nothing. So flat autograph, always appreciated. Check it out, Mr. Bill Lee, spaceman. Didn't put spaceman on there, but he is the spaceman. Next one, guys, coming out of San Francisco, California, two or two, zero fee, 12 days. There you go. Bob Ritchie, got my, getting my 80s back. If I was on Team 80s, we'd be kicking up, guys. No worries, no worries. 90s will be coming. <laughs> Rich Bordy, guys. 87 tops and the 1985 tops. Rich Bordy on the Cubs cards. Looks sweet with that blue ink. Not too shabby. So, Mr. Rich Bordy, sir, thank you for your autograph. Very cool. We got... Two more guys. Next one, North Houston, Texas. Two or two success, zero feet in 11 days. Nice, Bill Dolly on a 19, is that an 84, uh, 86 Fleer? And Bill Dolly, I believe this is like a late 70s card. For my Nashville Sounds, I grew up watching the Nashville Sounds. I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee. My dad took me to the Nashville Sounds many times. That's where I saw the... San Diego Chicken, he'd come a couple times a year. So, big fan of the chicken and the Nashville Sound. So, 
Mr. Bill Dolly. Thank you, sir, for that blue ink autograph. All right, guys, last one. I want to thank everybody who's who's uh, tuned in. Let me know, guys, uh, what you think. If you have a favorite one, hope I give, gave you some ideas. And to everyone who sent me a blind trade in the last couple of days, thank you so much. I've gotten a couple of them, and I will be doing a video soon with all those blind trades. You guys rock. Thank you so much for your participation. Last one, guys, coming out of El Paso, Texas, Rio Grande District, 101 success, zero fee in 12 days. And we got Mr. Oh, what a name. Left a sweet note. 1964 Rookie Star Mets completed vintage card. Already had Bill Wakefield down here. Mr. Jerry Hensley completed it with some blue ink auto. That is just too cool not to have up. We will put that up. And um, always ask all the guy people I, I sign to, I mean, I send to questions. They don't always answer, which is awesome, but that's okay too. I asked him who was... Um, this guy was basically on the back of the card. It said that he went straight to the majors from high school. So I was like, wow, that must have been tough. Who was some people that helped you? He put Johnny. Yeah, coming up out of high school straight to the major leagues were two different worlds, as was coming from Las Cruz, New Mexico to NYC. Yogi helped me a great deal as far as how to pitch to different hitters. And Warren Spawn, man, impressed upon me the basic art of pitching and helped a great deal. Warren Spawn, the best left-hander pitchers of all time. My dad's favorite player. He'll always hold a special part in, uh, place in my heart. What a great note, man. What a great hobby this is. Guys, what do you think about the haul? Thanks for taking the time to watch my videos, guys. Hit that like button. Johnny out.